Welcome to Finance and Excel video number 23. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for chapter 4 or the PDF, just click on the link below the video and download chapter 4 finance files. Hey, in this video here, we want to talk about solving for the number of periods. Now, total number of periods is years times number of compounding periods per year. We've been given this or calculated this from our years and, and uh, number of compounding periods. But here, we want to actually have all the other inputs and solve for this. Let's go over to our PDF. Here's our example. If you want to buy a $350,000 CNC router machine to improve manufacturing efficiency and you have 200000 today that you can invest at an annual rate of 8.5% compounded monthly, how long do you have to wait until your investment will grow to 350000 Assume machine will cost 350000 in the future. Well, the only difference between this problem and earlier problems is we're given the present value and the future value. And we're trying to solve for years. So we plug everything in. Now, if we use our same formula, right? Plug in all the numbers, we get 350,000 for future value, present value, annual rate, number of compounding periods. But it's an exponent we're trying to solve for. So you had to have taken algebra and remember how to use logs uh, to solve for your exponent. Uh, doing a little fancy footwork, I get this. Finally, I can take the uh, ln natural log of this and this, make that calculation. Get 79. We know what n is. It's 12. So I plug that in there and then divide by 12. I can get years, which is 6.7. Um, luckily, we don't have to do that. Um, we have the NPER function. Isn't that convenient? So just as we used NPER for an input into present value and future value functions in the last two videos, here we can put in the rate. Let's skip that argument there and put in present value and future value. Here's what it looked like if we used our math variables. Put those numbers in like that, and it will tell us. But here's the caveat. Both in this video and the next video when we do rate, it's always going to give you the total number of periods. So the if they give you total number of periods, you just have to then divide by 12 because we're doing months to get years. All right, let's see how to do this. So the answer is if you have 200,000 to invest today at 8.5% compounded monthly and you need 350,000 to buy the machine, you would have to wait six, about six and a half years. Let's go over to Excel. By the way, here's all the steps if you're doing it, uh, the math. Uh, you can see we said, but you can look at that. If you want in, I did the math calculation down here for those of you that are interested interested. Otherwise, here's our variables, and we can just use the NPER function. Now, we've seen future value, present value, but basically all of these input, these inputs here have their own function. So anytime you're solving for NPER, you use the NPER. When you're solving for present value, future value, you use the PV or FE. Later, we'll see how to solve for rate. In next video and next chapter, we'll see how to use PMT. So what's our rate? Always period rate. So I'm going to say annual divided by number of compounding periods per year, comma, comma. Present value, we have, and this has got to be a negative, right? Because we're putting it into the bank, comma, and then the future value. That's a positive because it's uh, coming out. Now close parentheses and enter. Oh, that is so much easier than taking those logs of either side. But the only trick is, got to remember, if we put in monthly rate or a period rate, this is going to be in whatever unit that is, in this case, months. All right, and so to get years, we simply take that divided by this one right here, and we get years. If you have $200,000, so the same thing as we said back in the PDFs. All right, that's how to solve for NPER. 
uh, in our case years or months. We got both of those numbers there. When we come back in our next video, we will solve for rate. All right, see you next video.